if we just want to create a machine, we need some stuff like we did when we created in the web. We need to know which image we want to use, which flavor, you know, the different setup for the machine. Uh, you need to know the key pair. Uh, the network, you saw that it chooses the default one if you didn't pick one, so you don't need that to actually create the machine. And if we don't know, I want to list the images. Okay, open stack images list. This won't work because it's not the correct command, but open stack the CLI will help me. Okay, we can't find these images. Maybe you're supposed to use image. Okay, so we use image instead. And now we see our images. Uh, there probably will be added a lot of images here, so the list could be too long, so it only only show you around 30 or something like that. If you want to have more, you can just type dash dash limit and type like to a higher number. We don't have 54 now, but uh, Stefan is adding a lot of different templates for you to, so you can get an, an, um, a MongoDB and a LAMP server. Uh, so before when I used it, I didn't find this uh, Ubuntu since it's on you, it's lower down the list. So I think we will use the 14.04 to create a new machine. And you have this ID, which you will use when you're creating the machine. Uh, we then need the flavor, so open stuck. Oh, that's wrong, but it will help me. It is flavor list. So as you see, the command helps us quite a bit. So we don't have to use the, the, the documentation if we don't uh, want to. And what we need here is the, the ID also for the flavor that we want to use. Usually you can pick the, the complete name also, but the ID is more, uh, if you want to, to script a lot of machines, then it's better to use the ID so you know uh, exactly what you're using. Uh, and then we need the key pair. Open stack key pair list. Right. And I only have uh, one key pair, pair here. Uh, and when we want to create it, open stack server uh, create, I think. If you want help, I don't know what more uh, arguments to put in here. You can always type uh, dash h, and then it will give you the help file for this command that you are currently uh, trying to run. So you can see, okay, uh, it needs a name for the server. Uh, on the top, you can see the uh, how it's supposed to be used. So OpenStack server create uh, when it's in. What do you call these in English? Yeah, stack. Oh, I don't matter. When you see these, these are usually optional commands. You don't have to, to type them in. Uh, but as you see, you need image. So where will the machine be created from? And a server name. But if you want to be able to connect the machine, you will need to specify a key, uh, a key name. Uh, so, otherwise you won't have any password or something to connect to the machine. And there are quite a lot of different things that you could add if you wanted. Uh, but let's see, we have the dash dash image, which we have been listed up here. We take this short key and then we had uh, the flavor which was 
this is an <coughs> Ubuntu machine. It will not work with Tiny, I don't think. You should probably, we could use, you probably could use Tiny, but I, I will use Small for this one. So then we have the flavor, what's it called, flavor, yeah. Oop, a lot of dashes. And then the number, it was a two. And then we had the the key name, I think. Yeah, key name. So here is not an, an ID, it's the name for the key. And then we need a name. And the, the name doesn't have a, a, an argument, so you just type the name in there and... Uh, so, of course, it will take a longer time to do the first machine with the CLI than with the GUI, but uh, if you are scripting, then you will have to uh, use the, the CLI. And as you know, this cluster that we have built up, maybe it will, in the morning, you won't be able to access it because we have to rebuild it. Then it should be easy for you to, uh, to create your machine. So, of course, you can use the web interface to make the first machines to try it out. But then I encourage you to, to use the, the CLI. You get a lot of information here. It actually does assign a password. So you could save that password now uh, for documentation. Uh, so you could access it using, uh, so we will probably change that one later on. Uh, if we use OpenStack server list, we should have two servers now. Yes, uh, it, it will take some seconds to spin that machine up and, and uh, configure it. Uh, but for the most part, it's just a few seconds. Uh, you will see that it's pending or building the status probably. Here we also see we don't have an, um, a floating IP connected to it, so we won't be able to connect to that one as of uh, now. After we created a machine, we can create um, a floating IP if you want to be able to connect to it. Open stack, uh, IP, and see what we have as of now, yeah. And we see which it's connected to. So if I wanted to create, just type create. Uh, I think, yes, and from which pool do we want to get this? So actually what we should have done before is maybe list our networks. Here we'll probably have two networks. We have the external and my network. So we needed either this, IP, uh, this ID or this name uh, to, create, to uh, create a new. Create and that name. It's been created, so if we list, no, not the networks, the floating IPs, we will have a new one, but it's not connected to anything yet. So we have to add that to our newly created machine, and you do that with add. So IP floating add. And the IP address that we want to add, uh, 47.174.110. And which mach machine? The name uh, that I specified before. You should see the name also in the server list command. Probably, yes, here. So just to be on the safe side. Yeah. So, if we list them again, we will see that it is now connected to that machine. 
Um, when you're creating your own network, you won't interfere with other students. So you see, I, I chose the uh, 192.168.20 network. If you choose the same one, it won't matter because they are not connected in any way to each other. But can we connect to this machine? <laughs> no, why not? Yes. So how do we add a security group? Uh, open stack. Um, yeah, you could type security group. to list them uh, because you need the name and then you just type uh, open stack server uh, because we are working on the server and wanted to connect that one add security group SSH oh you need the server Oh, let's see we, how they want us to specify this. So we need the name or the ID of the server and the group name or ID. Okay. So first is the server, yes. and the name of the security group. Good. Now let's try to connect to it. SSH Ubuntu is the default username on this machine. All of these images will have a default username. Uh, so you have to look up at in that image which, which is, is uh, the default username. And then we could uh, type the IP address and then we are connected to the Ubuntu machine. Good. <laughs>